just heading back to a job that we did a few videos ago. If you follow me, you'll notice that we um, had to do some student accommodation disconnections and stuff. We're heading back there today to just do some reconnections with the old sockets and stuff. Uh, some new lights, some new fans, a bit of testing. Uh, first things first, let's go meet Andy, we'll get a coffee. Right, I'll just walk you around the job. We have got to replace these fans with new fan lights. We've got to replace that little fan up there for a centrifugal or bigger one. I'll show you that. We've also got to replace um, in the kitchens. They've now boarded all the walls out, if you remember. I took a thumbnail picture. I think it was this one, actually, of the socket and spur. So we've got to replace that fan. That's getting a PIR on it to bring the fan on because no one was ever putting it on and the ventilation was rubbish. That's getting a new cooker switch, socket and a spur, but the toilet's got to come in and do this first, so that won't be getting done today. And then wherever they've built a wall out, so here we've got to put a switch, um, a spur for a heater and a socket there. And then coming through to one of the bedrooms, We've left with a twin and earth here because they moved these wardrobes out and built these walls out. So we've got to connect that socket, those two sockets, that socket there, and then a new bit of me trunking across the ceiling to a, a new light. That's what they're splashing the cash on the new light. Uh, this is the same, another bedroom. So a socket to go there, a light and a switch, and a light and a bit of trunking to go up there. Andy's going to do those in a minute. And then in this room here, same again. Uh, light cover just to go on so they didn't know if it was going to clash with that wall, which it doesn't. Socket low level, socket low level and a bit of trunking and a light. So there's 21 lights to do, but then all, all getting done today obviously. It's lunch time, I've got a baguette, Andrew's got a baguette. The only thing about these Bilingo vans is, you want to put your coffee away, but these cup holders are sort of tilted too much, and when you tilt it over so much, the coffee just spills out of the cup holder, so I'm not really sure what... Citroen or Peugeot or whatever we're thinking, but not very good. Right, um, as these fans have no overrun facility, um, they were just operated by this PIR. Um, they wanted um, to replace these to, to have the overrun facility uh, because it wasn't clearing the bathroom enough. So uh, the board's isolated, um, I've disconnected this, and what I found in the back here, there is a black which is permanently fed, so that will be good enough for. Um, to give the fan its permanent feed, to give it the overrun facility. So I've just disconnected this fan, I'm gonna whip this one out and I'll show you the new one. The fans we're fitting are Ventaxia, Solar Plus T, Centrifugal Bathroom Toilet Fan. These are good fans, let's get it unboxed. So the design with these fans, rather than a normal fan, it's just sucking from the middle, and it takes it in there and then round the sides, rather than just through the middle there. The thing you have to remember with these is don't drill a centre hole, um, they're off centre. So the actual um, outlet is there rather than being as a normal fan behind the blades. It's actually um, so you get this sort of swirl and then the air goes out that way. So that will be okay here because I've got enough room to fit that um, over to one side. Absolutely exhausted he is. Bloody exhausted. Eating this bathroom, they've had some work done. Um, around every electrical item in here, they've put a trunk in. And this was back in the day when you had to run a formula around everything in the bathroom. So yeah, imagine trying to get that um, in that light and stuff. What a nightmare. Good job we got RCDs now. I've just put a little flag on the uh, grey as a neutral and the black, which will be the permanent. Uh, I've put the snow earth connection, so I've just put a little wake on there. And then the cable clippers are absolutely rubbish on these, so I've just looped the cables round that little terminal there. On here, you've got a one, two, and a three. Um, that little blue link comes a standard between three and two, that's slow speed. And then I've moved it from two to one because we want it on high speed because they want the, the volume of air to be uh, greater in here. But you agree, they're quite a nice looking fan. They do stand off quite. Quite a lot, but that's because a lot of gubbins to lose. So um, 
rather than it being in the actual back of the fan, it's, it's on the front. So I'm just going to loop this flex over here, clip it, and then put it into there. And we'll have a look at it. One word of advice when you're stripping sort of one mil flex, make sure you um, do it a little bit longer, then you can double your connections over like that. Mate like. has been in, he's not happy because he's already finished this bathroom, but client wants this, so it's an afterthought, so they get what they want, don't they? Best in the business, this dry liner said he is. Look at that. Bloody, yeah, that's a small socket, isn't it? Look at that. It's not going to fit on there, is it? And these are the sockets we've got to reuse. Look, what's he doing in there? What's the matter, mate? Andy! Yeah, that's fine, mate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in my bucket. We've got a load of these sockets just to quickly connect up. I'm not going to film that because it's boring for you guys. Um, so we're going to whiz around with them. I'll show the end result and then we look at the fans and I've got a little kitchen fan I want to show you. Yes, to all the cheeky buggers out there, we do clean up our own mess. Do you like the contrast in height on these sockets? I could hardly notice it to be fair. I like the contrast in the old paint to the new paint. I think that's quite a nice feature actually. Nice using the old plates. Look, there's the vans. Mine's got the sign writing on and is, is getting done next week. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've actually got a roof rack now. 60 pounds on eBay, I picked that up for a little bargain that was, with a roller as well. Gone off on the PIR sensor. So you come in, that picks you up, like that. That'll bring the fan on. And then once, the, uh, once you come out, the light will go off. The light's now gone off and the fan is still running in the bathroom. Lovely. Rummaging through the bins. Andy! All the way around there. All the way around there. That's <laughs> Tell you why he's out there. He's putting the fan up and the actual impeller shaft is just falling off the back. <laughs> that four floors up. We've gone ahead and second fixed the socket and the spur because the toilet's not finished yet. And it's just going to do the oven switch or I am. The outlet. Uh, got a new fan controlled by these little presence detectors. Uh, they're pretty neat. They don't need a neutral because you can fit them on a switch. So they're pretty nice. That's it. That's it. We've done as much as we can in these flats now. All the sockets are on. Heater's back on. Fans are all on. We'll check this one out again. I think the delay's holding that one off, so that should come on in a second. These are all done, and it's just flipping a switch in that bedroom. All the sockets are second fixed. Lights are back together. Just waiting for the fittings to come for these. We can't do these yet. But we'll be here again on this one. And now all these sockets are done. Lovely finish on these walls, you can hardly notice it. Whew. Right guys, that's us done for the day. Um, bit of a bitty one today. It's just slightly annoying that we couldn't actually get one of the flats finished because uh, the wholesalers didn't deliver the lights. They said they were coming yesterday morning uh, and now it's Friday afternoon and they're still not turned up. So um, I'll probably upload this video while I'm on holiday next week just to give us a video to get on the channel because um, I've already put two up this week. So. Um, so when I get back from holiday, we've got another couple of new jobs kicking off. So um, there's plenty of videos to come, guys. So if you're new here, thanks. If you're, if you're, if you're old, thanks for coming back. And I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.